The U.S. Navy is about to become aircraft carriers the U.S. Air Force is about to become aircraft, like the aircraft from which they take off. Lockheed CL-1201, nuclear-powered. In keeping with its boundary-pushing nature, Lockheed decided to design an aircraft carrier, the size of a conventional aircraft carrier. This aircraft or carrier would weigh 5,265 tons and be as tall as a 14-story building. To achieve such a massive flying structure, the design included a 1,120-foot wingspan and a 5,60-foot fuselage, about the length of two and a half Boeing 747s. From start to finish, the Lockheed CL-1201 could amazingly be powered by four massive turbofan engines, running on conventional jet, fuel to an altitude of less than 16,000 feet. At this point, nuclear power from the onboard reactor would power the aircraft for 41 consecutive days without refueling or having to land for even a second. In fact, the aircraft could maintain a cruising speed of Mach 0.8 for this period and fly at an altitude of about 30,000 feet. This massive aircraft would be if a crew of 845, personnel capable of deploying 22 multi roll roll fighters and maintaining a hangar for repairs, but it would also likely cost billions of dollars and many labor hours to produce and maintain, which contributed to the aircraft never making it past the proposal stage. But its concept to this day remains a historical anomaly that continues to inspire renewed interest from the world.